Good morning. Another beautiful day. Back after an amazing double zero at the Kennedy Meadows General Store. And whew, a lot of fun. It was it was so hard to go because a couple of my friends are actually staying there for like two weeks. It's uh some one person had to get off trail for a graduation, so they're staying there to wait for her. And I didn't want to go, but I know I have to, and I'm just so excited for the Sierra. You know, the, the road walk from the general store back to the trail was pretty tough just to like get down there, but now I'm back on trail. I'm seeing this beautiful view, which I'll flip my camera, camera around once here in a second um, and show, because it's just uh, so gorgeous walking through, uh, hopefully the last little bit of desert, because I'm still in it. Um, and I think I have like another day of it, but today's going to be fun or not. <laughs> um, it's mirrored about 6,500 feet right now, I think. And I'm going to be climbing pretty much all day and hopefully ending around 10,000 feet. So getting up into some high altitude, probably going to be doing a number on my lungs. Um, so I'm both looking forward to it and very much not looking forward to it. But, you know, for two days of just real food, I mean, huge burgers, both at the general store and at uh, Grumpy Bear's Retreat, which is the other spot where you can stay here in Kennedy Meadows. Fantastic food. Great time. So, you know, I'm reinvigorated, you know, refueled, rehydrated, and ready to go back out on trail. Um, so, uh, I'm very excited and here, let me flip my camera around just so you can see this upcoming portion. Just check this out. It's a huge, like high desert meadow up to the mountains up ahead where I don't know which one or where I'm going, but I assume it's those in the middle and it's going to be absolutely beautiful. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much what the day has in store. You know, um, one thing about this section is that you do have to carry a bear canister, which adds a lot of weight. Also, on top of carrying the bear, if you can see it attached to the top of my pack there. Um, also, there's, there's like a weird, like amount, there's a lot of, points in the Sierra where you can get off trail, but not any that I like want to get off at up until, um, here Sarge Pass is the first one that a lot of people jump off trail. And so on top of trying to make it, I think it's 80 miles through the high Sierra. You also have to carry an extra day of food for Mount Whitney. If you are feeling like doing that, which I definitely am. And also an extra kind of half day for uh, just getting over Kearsarge Pass, because it's eight miles. And a lot of people forget like, oh, I have enough, just enough food to get me to Kearsarge and then I can get off trail. But you don't realize that you have eight more miles up and over, uh, I think like a 11 or 12,000 foot pass. And uh, you run out of food. Or maybe even, you know, you have to camp at the bottom and then go in the next day, essentially taking the world's worst zero by having to go eight miles, you know, up and over a pass, hitching into town, hitching into another town to actually resupply, and then hitching back, and then hitching back, and then walking back over. So usually that's like a two day trip. And each day you have to walk eight miles and do zero miles of trail. So yeah, the world's worst double zero, but that's the high Sierra. Pretty much everywhere you go, it's a long trek to get off trail. And I mean, I just wanted to, I want to be able to stay out for a long time up in arguably the most beautiful country in America. And what a lot of hikers, triple crowners have told me is the most beautiful section they've ever hiked. So, I'm so excited, I'm ready, 
I'm carrying like 30 pounds on my back, which sounds like not a lot, but I'm used to carrying like 20 pounds. So it feels heavy. And yeah, I'm excited. And uh, I will see y'all later. I don't know when, but I'm sure I'll be getting some good views later today. So I'll see y'all in a bit. The first taste of the Sierra. Just amazing. I'm at almost 9,000 feet right now. And those mountains are still huge. Oh, it's incredible. And uh, apparently this is not even considered like the high Sierra yet. And like the point where you feel like you're in it happens tomorrow. So this is incredible. What's up y'all? Got here in the camp and I'm pretty tired. Um, I did, I started at like 11 o'clock today. Um, I think I said that in the first video and, uh, still got 20 miles in. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, you know, days are getting long and it's prime time to just push and get some miles done. And, uh, you know, this section of the Sierra wasn't quite hitting the like spectacular Sierra views yet. You know, you're not really you're in the, the Sierra, but it's not like officially the high Sierra yet. You know, you're not in a uh, national park. Um, we're in Sequoia. I'm in Sequoia National Forest. You can see, I'm pretty sure these are Sequoia trees like all around me. Um, <clears throat> a lot of them anyway, which is really cool. Um, unfortunately, you know, you don't get into like the big Sequoia trees. Um, you don't hike past them. And uh, here tomorrow I should be getting into... I think tomorrow I'll get into the national park boundary and get into Sequoia, Sequoia National Park, which I'm really excited about. Um, you know, they're national parks for a reason. Somebody went there and uh, and was like, we need to preserve this. Um, shout out to Teddy Roosevelt for starting that, that uh, the National Park Service, I think. I don't know. If, if, if I'm wrong, go ahead and correct me in the comments or whatever. But um, <clears throat> I think it was Teddy Roosevelt started that. Um Oh, <clears throat> before I, uh, before, or I don't want to say before I forget this, but I, you know, before I, before like the days wear on, um, you know, a couple of days ago I was, or a couple of videos ago, I was talking about, uh, <clears throat> you know, my aunt Kathy wanted to, <clears throat> wanted to be a trail angel and doing, you know, um, trail angels are awesome and everything. Well, um, when I got to Kennedy Meadows, I got a package from my mom <clears throat> and my aunt Kathy and they sent me. A, like a ton of stuff so much candy I was you know giving away it was uh, too much I was giving away stuff to people you know um so I just want to say mom you've already done trail magic for me and you've definitely helped some people out before when you came to visit <clears throat> um but Ann Kathy you're now a trail angel um I did read your letter I know how much you want to be a trail angel so you're now a trail angel and uh <clears throat> you know I can't can't thank any you know anybody who's a, <clears throat> a trail angel enough um, I had something else I wanted to talk about, but I can't even remember. Um, I don't know. My pack's pretty heavy. Oh, I'm sitting here on my new camp stool, which is, oh, my bear canister. It is kind of nice. I'm definitely not going to switch over to carrying it all the time, but, you know, I'm going to take this bad of carrying a ton of food and um, and can't having to carry a bear can, which is like, <laughs> I think it, I was like, didn't really try to put it on my pack and like, see how I was going to do it until this morning. And then, so when I hiked out, I think I made it about, uh, <clears throat> 30 yards and it fell off my pack. <laughs> so, uh, then it fell off my pack two more times or three more times while I was hiking. Um, but I think I now have it figured out how it sets. Uh, this pack is actually... Uh, six moon signs <clears throat> that I talked about in a previous video. It actually is uh, <clears throat> kind of made to carry a bear can. It has like longer straps on it so you can't accommodate a bear can. So really happy I picked up this pack because I think my other one, I don't know if it would have been able to carry it. <clears throat> so, you know, uh, it's, been, it's, it's been fun so far today. The altitude is, is tearing me up pretty bad. I can definitely, you know, every, <laughs> as you can see, <coughs> with the coughing you know I had to 
you know, I'm going a lot slower uh, uphill than I usually do. I'm going a lot slower on flat than I usually do. I'm getting a lot more tired. Uh, pretty much have a, had a constant headache once I got past like uh, 8,500 feet. I'm sitting up, I'm up here at 10,000 feet right now. I just went to camp at 10,000 and uh, it's the highest I've ever camped. So it's pretty, pretty awesome there. And actually tomorrow, like first thing in the morning, I, we, you, I go uphill just a little bit more. <clears throat> I'll get to a little over 10,500 feet, which will be the highest I've, uh, highest elevation I've ever been at, minus being in a plane, but that doesn't count. So <clears throat> I'm really excited. You know, it's, it's crazy because like this 10,500 foot, it's not a peak or anything, um, just a pass. I don't, I don't even know. It's not even like an official pass. Um, it's not even like a big deal on oh, mosquito on my finger. The mosquitoes are coming out. Um, it's not even like a big deal on the map or anything. There's no like marker to be like, this is a pass or like, congratulations. You know, you're over 10,005 for the first time on trail. It doesn't even matter. <clears throat> they don't care because it's the high Sierra. And uh, just in like, well, hopefully in three days, uh, three days, I'll be able to, I'll be going up and over or not up and over, but up to the summit of Whit Mount Whitney, which is the highest peak in the lower 48. <clears throat> and, uh, and then the next day going over Forrester Pass, which is the highest point on the P on <clears throat> officially on the PCT, it's a uh, little over 13,000 feet. So, you know, hitting the highest point I've ever been at, and it's not even a big deal. Uh, so I'm excited for it. So, you know, uh, yeah, I don't really feel like I wanted to talk about something else but i forgot because hiker brain is worse at elevation and uh um you know trying to just stay hydrated stay fed and not give myself altitude sickness um so so far it's been going pretty good you know i just got a normal like coughing out of breath but hopefully like camping up here a couple nights and you know by the end of the week i'll be pretty well acclimated to this elevation and and uh be feeling good so that's it for the for the evening uh, this oh, six and six and nine, almost a half minutes, uh, just in this like day recap. So, <clears throat> so yeah, that's, uh, it's about all I got for tonight. Um, and, uh, just going to get everything set up, go ahead and eat dinner and then get to bed early, hopefully get started early tomorrow and be able to, you know, get into camp like before seven thirty or eight o'clock whenever I'm here right now. Um, so yeah, I will, uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow, bright and early. Hopefully, I, you know, try to push myself to get started. But uh, yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. So until then, peace.